2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open. Today's coverage is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam here in Las Vegas. It's known as Thin City, but we're at TPC Summerlin for the goal. What's this course like? This golf course historically plays firm and fast and yields lots of birdies. So players going into this week know full well that they have to have the putter going. They need to hit a lot of greens, but they also need to make sure that they're making five, six, seven birdies a day out there. Because if they're not, if they're struggling with birdies and only making pars, then the entire field is going to pass them by. It's a great opportunity because historically the wind doesn't blow very much and all the par fives are reachable, but still having to make birdies, knowing you need to make birdies, isn't always the easiest thing. We're in Vegas and you can even see the famous strip from the golf course. Do the players need to roll the dice, have a little gamble out on that course? I think you have to gamble everywhere on the PGA Tour, but in Las Vegas, I think it's required, isn't it? Be rude not to. Well, that's enough from me. It's time to pull the trigger. Let's get down to the course. Nicely done. This putt's about four feet from the hole. This one's looking good. Well, that's delightful. A birdie to get the round underway. I can't ever recall him making a birdie and feeling bad about it. So, yes, birdie on the first. Great job. The second at TPC Summerlin is a par four measuring 469 yards from the back tee. It plays slightly downhill, so a strong drive here will set up even just a short iron approach. However, there's a huge waste area to the right, so accuracy off the tee is required. The smart option here is to lay back with the three metal and give yourself a full shot in, and also take one club less into this green as it will release down the slope. Nicely done. And he's down there. Well, by my estimation, they're looking at 110 here. Going with the 9-iron, I think. Club up. I like this play. Oh, yeah. A shot of the day. That'll help make a big move. Well, that's worth reviewing. Let's roll the video tape. This shot was absolutely perfect. Looks just as nice on the second viewing. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Hey guys, we are checking in with Brooke Henderson as she gets set here for her next shot on the 16th. Gee, that'll keep the momentum rolling, Rich. Saving one there after being all over the parking lot, chipping in for the par. The third hole at TPC Summerlin is a very strong par four, measuring 492 yards. There's a huge ravine that works right up through the middle of this. It requires a very strong drive up the right half to go at this green in two. There is a big fairway to the left if you want to tuck over and get up and down for your par that way. That's a nice looking tee shot, that one. Playing this shot from 120 yards. This one looks to be heading towards the green. Outstanding shot, high quality. Right on four feet, should make this one. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie.
That's inside the range. Currently four under for the round. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. The fourth at TPC Summerlin is a pretty straightaway par four, measuring 450 yards from the back tees. The fairway bunkers down the left and right are to be avoided. Really, not much to this hole, just be accurate on approach. <laughs> tee shot is looking good here. Second shot here on the fourth. Great looking shot this. A sensational shot and a chance for a birdie here on the fourth. At that good birdie and with that he'll move to five under par and as the school card suggests heading up the leaderboard the fifth at TPC Summerlin is a par three measuring 197 yards depending on where they put the tees on this hole ensures the type of club you need to get at it if you're going at it, make sure you avoid that bunker that's short and right. <laughs> Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. John, have you got a read on this one? Well, he's, he's got about 28 feet to the cup from here. Not afraid to go deep. This putts for six under par. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. And that will move into six under par. The leader now has a one stroke advantage. The sixth at TPC Summerlin is a snaking par four, playing 430 yards. There's a big waste area up to the left-hand side that needs to be avoided. If you can position your drive on the right half of this fairway, it gives you the best shot up the hill to a green that is not protected by any bunkers. Well played, mate. This one is chewing fiber. Oh, that one just missed the hole. A spot in the top 20 awaits if they can make this part. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The seventh at TPC Summer is a short par four measuring just 382 yards off the tips. Really, you just want to avoid the trees on the left-hand side because that will prevent you getting at the green, which is well guarded by bunkers and trees. Lay up, short right, a nice little wedge in here and try and make a birdie. Yep, that'll work, that's fine. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? A chance for a birdie if this goes down. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. And that will take him to eight under. He's in a tie for 14th place. 
got to like it. Moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. The eighth at TPC Summerlin is a big par three, playing 239 from the tips. A well-struck shot will avoid the gully here, but anything to the left half can roll off the green. The bunker short rider also to be avoided, so you don't make a sloppy bogey. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. Yep, that shot safely on the green. They're lining up the birdie putt here. Get the fist pump ready. This looks like it's going in. Well, nice to drop a putt of that length. Well done. Moments like that deserve another viewing. Let's take a look at the replay. What an amazing part from way out. Let's go to John Rahm. Trying to get to eight under par with this putt. Oh, terrific. What an effort. And with that, he'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. The ninth at TPC Summerlin is a par five measuring over 563 yards. Really? The main aim here is to just avoid that bunker off the left of the tee. Then, if safely in the fairway, you can get after this green. A strong shot will play to the left half of this green and feed down to any hole location. A birdie chance, no doubt. Good shot there, Beamer. This shot from around 210 yards. Opting for the five iron. Oh, that's a great approach shot. And this part to move into the top ten. gallant attempt always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie trailing by six shots after that hole the 10th the TPC Sutherland is the beginning hole of a back nine that has many challenges and also a lot of fun holes not overly long at 420 yards you just try to avoid any trouble off the tee so you can get a clear shot at this green a chance to begin the back nine with a birdie Oh, well done. And our intrepid on-course reporter, John, standing by. Hey, guys, we are checking in with Bubba Watson as he gets set for his next shot here on the 11th. Ouch, that hurts. No, oh, that's too bad. Time for the second shot at the 10th. And hitting yet another green here in regulation. And just about eight feet left to the hole. Little birdie look in here. Yeah, this is looking nice. Yeah, they're good momentum makers, those ones. Good putt for birdie. 
now at 11 under for the day. Moving up the leaderboard, I like it. Placement off the tee is required at the TPC Summerlin 11th hole, par four, measuring 448 yards. The big bunker down the right side is to be avoided at all costs. And there's also a little tree there which might affect any line of sight approach to this green. That was absolutely murdered. As we test ourselves here in the closing nine at TPC Summerlin, what's the second shot into 11 like? It's a very unfriendly second shot. This green sits above the fairway a good four to five feet. If you hit it long, you've got no hope of getting it up and down. A very scary shot, to say the least. If you walk away from a par here, happy days. A wonderful shot. A chance for Birdie here on the 11th. And this putt to move into the top five on the leaderboard. Ooh, nice line. That gets the job done. I will take that also into the top five now. Currently 12 under for the round. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. The 12th. Here at Summerlin is another short par four. 442 yards off the tips, but plays slightly downhill and leaves just a short iron approach. The only real danger here is the big body of water that starts around 150 yards short and goes right up past the green. Well, well played. We'll now move over to John Rahm. This lie's not great. Wow, did this come out beautifully. That is outstanding. And snatches a birdie as well. Out of the rough, out of position. Never mind. That is not a bother. Knocks it in. Thank you very much. That should find the surface. Outstanding approach shot. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot. Just six feet between here and the hole. So far, so good. Yes, they've made it. Currently 13 under for the event. The 13th at TPC Summerlin is a monster par five measuring over 600 yards from the back tees. The big hitters with a tail breeze can cover that bunker on the left hand side. But if you want to lay up, make sure you're giving yourself the right number because there's a lot to this green and plenty of ways to three putt it. Be careful on approach. Second shot here on their 13th hole. Opting for the five wood. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. Well, 
Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Oh, this looks pure. Oh, that's absolutely perfect. And let's have another look at that one. I need to see this again because I still can't believe they hold that. Just one off the lead after that hole. The 14th at TPC Sumlin is a straightaway par three playing 168 yards. The green slopes right to left, so make sure you've got the right length of club so you're not left with a long part. Yeah, good safe shot, this one. That should find the surface. A wonderful shot into 14. It sets up another look at birdie. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Hey, guys, we are checking in with Bubba Watson as he gets set for his next shot here on the 15th. And this putt to move into a tie for first place. Got a chance. Oh, well played. He's currently in a share of top spot. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. The 15th, the TPC Sutherland is a great short par four. In fact, a lot will try and drive it in the tournament. If you want to lay it back, you've got around about 115 yards uphill to a green where you can't see those back hole locations. However, a good aggressive play here must avoid the pot bunkers around the greens or the big waste area to the left. A chance to make a birdie here or even an eagle. A look here to get to 18 under the card with this putt. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. And he holds it. What a putt. Here's a look at John Rahm from earlier. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? Wonderful effort. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. The 16th at TPC Sumlin is another one of those great scoring holes en route to the finish. A par five playing 560 yards. A well-struck drive up the right half here gives you a chance to get at this green in two. If you are going for the green, make sure you've got enough club because that huge penalty area in front of it will ruin any score. Be careful going through the green here as well because getting down from over the back is not that easy. There's been action all day on this golf course. But what about this shot at the 17th? This is an absolute belter by Bubba Watson. Ah, that's too bad. Put a great effort on that stroke. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? Setting up here from about 190 yards. Oh, 
opting for the six iron. That could play. Not a bad play, that one. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? This one's 13 feet from the cup. Putting for eagle. That always sounds good. It's on a great line. That's impressive. He just keeps extending his advantage over the field. Now four shots up after that hole. The 17th at TPC Summerlin is a downhill par three playing 196 yards. Jonathan Bird once famously holed out in the playoff here to snatch the title. The green shapes right to left towards the hazard. So make sure if you're gonna go for it, be very accurate. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Yeah, that was a safe play. This part is about 16 feet. Ooh, right by the hole. An opportunity to make a par here. Leading by four strokes after that one. The 18th at TPC Sublin is a 444-yard par four with a big body of water just beyond the gully, which you've got to drive. Make sure you avoid those bunkers on the right side to give you a good iron into this green. That's heading for the fairway. And Henny, what's he looking at here? This is looking around 115 yards out. Choosing the 9-iron nine -nine here. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. chance this one right on six feet not a bad line this gets that one to go down and that'll